The EMS Campus Planning Interface is the web-based interface that academic units or departments typically use to review course schedule data and communicate changes to the classroom scheduler. In this video, I will show you how academic departments use the Campus Planning Interface in Define and Edit mode. In order to use the Campus Planning Interface for Define and Edit of courses, the term must first be put in either Define and Edit mode or Dual mode and be made available to the academic departments. From these modes, the department can add a new course, section, or course date, edit a course, a course date, or cancel a course or course date. The term is now ready for the department scheduler to access from the campus planning interface. Once the term has been selected, the department scheduler can click on academic browser to see a listing of all of their courses within their department. They can filter by subject, course or course dates, and then click on Get Data. To add a new course, click on the New Course button, fill in all of the required fields, Add the course type, start time and end time, and click on Save. To edit a course, highlight the course open the record, and edit the course details. In this example, I will change the estimated enrollment. To cancel a course, highlight the course, open the record, and click on Cancel Course. To edit course dates, open the course, and click on the icon under Actions. These are the fields that could be edited. To cancel a course date, click on the Cancel icon under Actions. In order for the classroom schedule to see all changes that have been made from the campus planning interface, they must run the report from the desktop client. The report they would run would be the course changes report. The classroom scheduler will then take these changes and input them into the SIS. The campus planning interface is a great tool to use to gather and consolidate course information.